So in this recording, we'll see how we can programmatically invoke a AWS bedrock flows, right? So this is the flow that I created last week and uh, I um, created a recording also to how to create it. Uh, but before we go into the programmatic way of invoking it, let me explain uh, what uh, we created in this flow. So it's a simple flow. Uh, I wanted to start with a very simple flow and then as uh, we move forward, we'll have some more complex flows which will um, invoke programmatically. So this has an input node, flow input node, which is uh, which outputs a, uh, the output is of type string, which goes into a prompt node, right? This is a prompt node and this prompt node um uses a cloud three sonnet model and it takes an inline prompt right so we are not using aws prompt management here i am I'm giving an inline prompt here right so which is like define in node and i'm saying you will you will create meeting summary based on the provided chat transcript and then the output of this uh, goes to the flow output right so the flow output uh, uh, like takes the uh, data, right? And uh, the input right from uh, the prompt and uh, <coughs> outputs the uh, output from the prompt node. To programmatically invoke this using Python, let's look at the program right now. So I'm creating a bedrock agent runtime client using boto3 boto3.client this is the input this is the transcript from the meeting this is a meeting between a traveler and a travel agent right so this is the input this is nothing but this flow input this document here right and then i am invoking the flow right i am calling for the client runtime dot invoke flow i need the flow identifier and the flow alias identifier. How do I get this? So if I go to, let me close it. If I go to the, um, so this is my flow, right? This is, uh, okay, let me, so this flow with card, right? So this is my flow. If I click on the flow, this is the flow ID, right? This is this flow identifier, right? And the alias, when you create alias, you will get the alias ID also here, right? So you create the alias from here, you get the alias ID. This is the alias ID. Now the input is my transcript, this transcript, right? The key should always be content, right? And it takes the, uh, the flow input node takes the input as a dictionary where the key is again document and this is a transcript. Node name is for me it's flow input node because if you if I click on this, if I edit in flow builder, you'll see that the name of this is flow input node, right? Flow input node, node output name is document, node output name is document, right? With this, I uh, invoke the flow and then I uh, Basically, I, uh, the, from that stream, I uh, keep on updating like, until I get the entire output, right? Once the output is there, right? If I if the result is all uh, obtained, right? After running the flow, I get the, so if the completion reason is success, right? Then I, from the result output, right? So the result, the final result will be in a JSON format like this flow output event and the content and within the content, the document, right? So this is what I'm capturing here and then printing it, right? If it is, if it fails, then uh, it will just say it is failure. So let me also print the result so that we can see it. So uh, in my previous run, I printed the result as well as this. So this one is this, uh, let me actually put so that uh, it is very clear. What is what? Oh, 
so and after this this is the content uh, so let me put this so okay so now let me run this right so this is this is the code right i'll, I'll upload this code in my github also so that you can take a look at it let me run this and then we will see okay so the result is getting updated okay so uh okay so i think i had it. maybe this is the I forgot what is the new line character i think this is the new line character let's see oh. I think it is uh, backslash. Yes, the new news line character is a backslash, right? So result, this is the the result, right? This is the result. And then I parse the result. So basically, I take the flow input event, the content and the document. And this was the transcript, right? It gave me the meeting summary, right? So this is how you programmatically call a AWS bedrock flows. I'm going to uh, explore more in this, this programmatic access and do some more complex uh, flows where we'll also take a object as an input, right? If it's object as an input, how we do it. I'll also show how to create a flow programmatically, um, right? how to uh, add different nodes programmatically that we'll see in the subsequent uh, recording. Thank you.